So recently I've been noticing some of my good habits slipping. I felt more emotional and reactive and just overall a bit less motivated. But I have a few hobbies that I call non-negotiables. So I show up to them every day no matter how tired or fed up I feel. I've noticed that these are all significantly good hobbies for building discipline, not just because of the actual hobby itself, but because they carry traits that promote consistency. So in this short video, I'm gonna explain four hobbies that I currently do that improve my discipline and keep me consistent and accountable. Hobby number one, weightlifting. It doesn't matter if you're in your early 20s and full of testosterone, or you're a mum in her 50s, weightlifting will improve your health. Like the evidence is pretty clear. And the reason it is so useful for improving discipline is because it's tough, like really tough, if you push yourself hard enough. If you do something every day that puts you outside of your comfort zone, like lifting something heavy until you can't do it anymore, you have set expectations on your body and your mind, and your comfort zone expands. So it tells you that you know you're capable of pushing your body to its limits and that knowledge will subconsciously transfer into other aspects of your life. So for example, if you're scared of public speaking or networking, you'll be just that little bit braver. So I'm gonna speak completely anecdotally here, but lifting weights literally did change my life. So I was a small child, well, I'm still small now, but I was even smaller back then. So I was up to like a foot shorter than some of my classmates. Then a couple of years ago, I thought to myself, okay, I might not be able to grow upwards, but I can probably grow sidewards. And that's when I started to hit the gym and see results and my confidence skyrocketed. I always talk about stoicism and this mindset aligns perfectly with me learning about it at the time because I accepted what I can't control, which is growing taller, and changed what I could, which is getting stronger. Hobby number two, something with your hands. There's a reason a lot of people took up some sort of arts and crafts during lockdown and it wasn't just because they got bored of taking the dog for the eighth walk of the day. There are some real and proven therapeutic benefits of it and it can put you into that flow state which is that sort of nirvana where you're completely immersed in the present moment and which I always talk about is the only way to be fully at peace. It doesn't have to be knitting or painting. It could also be something like DIY or cooking. Personally, I like to bake healthy snacks or uh, make healthy meals with recipes that I find online and just see if I can tweak them to make them tastier. So I learned this in the book Mastery by Robert Greene. So he talks about how for most of human existence, we would use our hands to work. So an enormous part of our brain is dedicated to that relationship between the mind and the hand. He says, and I quote, when we work with our hands and build something, we learn how to sequence our actions and how to organize our thoughts. In taking anything apart in order to fix it, we learn problem solving skills that have wider applications. Hobby number three, starting a business. So I know I've fallen into this trap before and nod your head if you have too. So I get home from work and I'm tired. So I lay on my bed and I check my phone because I'm tired. I start scrolling and I don't stop and then all of a sudden it's 10 p.m. and the whole night is wasted. It is so, so easy to do, which is why so many people do it. Doing anything else is difficult when you're in that trap. The cozy sheets and the mindless entertainment, you have no need to question anything. You can just let Sky Sports and CNN tell you what to think. Like, who wouldn't choose that? But if you create a side hustle that you're truly passionate about, then you'll actually have a purpose not to fall into that trap. And your evenings will no longer be filled with scrolling on your phone and binge watching Netflix. Because when you have a reason to do something, then you also create a reason not to do something else. So for example, what will I lose out on if I spend my evening scrolling? Progression in my business, becoming financially free, leaving a legacy. Suddenly the decision to procrastinate becomes a whole lot harder. Hobby number four, martial arts. Now I'm a complete beginner to martial arts. I only started kickboxing in September, um, but I always knew that I wanted to start it when the timing was right. Luckily, I finally realized that there was no such thing as perfect timing and I was just stroking my ego with excuses. So martial arts schools pride themselves on discipline because it's a core value of the sport. You need discipline to turn up consistently and also put in effort consistently to learn the techniques and you have to be accountable because there's coaches and the community that will notice if you're not. Plus, being able to defend yourself is leverage. Just like getting stronger lifting weights, it gives you that bit of mental freedom and resilience to be a bit braver. Obviously, I don't mean like 
braver to get into random bar fights, but to go to places where you might normally feel uncomfortable. So I don't know, this might not apply to everyone, but it was actually a big factor for me because like I keep going on about, I was so much shorter than the people my age growing up. So I never really felt at ease in public. Conclusion. So all of these are great options if you want to improve your discipline, but the truth is they will only work if you actually stick to it. In every single thing that's worthwhile, once you get past the newbie gains, there'll be a sticking point where you feel like quitting. I feel like this all the time and I've actually felt like it really recently which actually sparked the motivation for this video. Willpower is a muscle just like any other and the only way to improve it in any aspect of your life is to consistently work to do things even when you don't feel like it. That's emotional intelligence which creates discipline. And you can watch as many motivational speeches as you want, I've fallen into that trap so many times, but nothing matters if you're not disciplined because motivation doesn't last. Discipline can be something you choose whenever you want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you took any value at all from this video, I'd love if you could hit the like button and comment below any like hobbies that you've taken up that have helped with your discipline. So I post weekly videos on building discipline and an unbreakable mindset. If you're looking to improve your life, then hit the subscribe button and join the community. I've also released a free playbook to get in your life together. It takes you through the step-by-step -step process that I use for going from anxious and lazy to fulfilled and productive. It's completely free, so grab it while you can. It's the first link in the description. And I really appreciate it. I know I'm a tiny, tiny channel, and I really appreciate you watching it to the end. And I'll see you in the next one.